Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and here we have a knife design by Knife Standards, the R&R. &R. Now, these will be available early October, and I do have the, sp the sheet next to me. Let's get into it. I'm pretty excited about this one. I have seen it around the community a little bit. Now, there will be three different versions available, and... It just looks good, man. It's a good-looking knife. Very straightforward. It looks very neutral. Let's crank it open as we're getting through this stuff. So we have a... <laughs> yeah, that thing kicks. I got to do that again. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. We have a hand-ground magna-cut blade. By the way, Best Tech is the OEM. So we have a hand-ground, dual-ground Magna cut blade, super thin behind the edge right here. Nice hollow grind right here. Flat grind up here. Beautiful swedge on the top. The satin finishes really play with the light. I love that satin. Uh, nice good size choil to choke up on. Titanium frame lock. Very neutral in the hand. So I think it's going to fit most people's hands comfortably. It is very comfortable in mine. The lock bar. Nice and soft. Feels great in the hand. The disengagement. Ooh, yeah, listen to that. Oh, man, the thing. That's another thing that probably helps with the action. The lock bar really pulls in the, the blade. It really engages. Love the way that lock bar engages. Listen to the lock up. Great sound. Let's do the thumb studs again. Nice pop. Easy to deploy. The thumb studs are a little tight to the scale. Let's try the reverse flick. Okay, I can do it. It is a little tight to the scale, but... Okay, so some changes really quick. One, it'll have all T8 hardware all the way around. Next thing, um, rounded low profile clip side body screw. So the clip right here will be more uh, inset. It won't be as pronounced, I'm guessing that means. Um, and then the max blade height will be 27 millimeters. And then slight reduction to the clip side lock bar access. So right here, I'm guessing, um, and that is for the so that the thumb studs aren't as tight i'm guessing or the the adjustment will be to the thumb stud placement so that they're maybe a little bit easier to get to even though it's not bad so i imagine slight adjustment would make it just i mean you see how fast i can do it i don't it's not even a thought for me anymore so i imagine if it was adjusted just by a tiny bit it'd be super duper easy which it already is but you know i'm not sure if he's going to make it a little bit more prouder but he's obviously going to adjust that to some extent to make it a little bit better um and then the this one he's saying um it's going to be the magna cut, so maybe this steel is different for the prototype, but in the end, it's going to be the hand ground magna cut steel, hopefully at a good HRC. And the stone milled version will have DLC hardware and a DLC backspacer. Very cool. So I'm guessing the blackout version is going to be all DLC. Um, so that's awesome. Because of the way the thumb studs are done, it has a nice push off point. So it's relatively easy. Um, especially once you understand it and know right where they're at, it won't be no thing. It's um, got great action. I can slow roll it. I just got to get it by the back of my thumb kind of and don't put pressure on the lock bar when I pull it out. Um, detent, nice and early, easy to get past. I'm guessing it's on ceramic caged bearings. It is very, very smooth. Um, deep carry clip, not reversible, but it is deep carry with a wire clip. Little tiny bit of side to side, but I'm sure that'll work out great. We do have a backspacer, titanium backspacer. Um, this says prototype on it because this is a prototype. Now, before we get more into this, um, this is a knife that 
and we'll look at the specs really quick. This is a knife that is kind of paying homage to his dad. It's in memory of his dad. He had designed this on paper um, a few weeks before his dad passed away. And, you know, it's kind of in memory of his dad. And I understand that because I was really close to my dad, um, you know, and I was with him all the way up until my father passed away. Like I said, we were really close, uh, so I, I do get that. I respect it, um, and, you know, and I'm sorry to hear, you know, about his dad. Um, so, you know, I'm sure you'd be proud of him doing this knife design and everything. Um, the knife is awesome, beautiful, good-looking knife. It's a sexy-looking knife. Now, the big belly is not going to be the best utility cutter. You're most likely going to have to use the belly for utility cuts. You can get by with the tip. Um, but if you're going to be, if it's going to go down like on a table and get leverage, that's not the type of blade shape this is. This is going to be lots of slicing and push cuts and things like that. Um, and in that case, I'm sure it'll work great. Um, nice, robust tip. So, you know, anything you are doing with the tip, you can, you know, pretty much guarantee it's going to be a nice, strong, durable tip. Magnet cut is a, a really tough steel. I do not know what best tech's going to be heat treating it to. I don't see anything. The price is going to be $365. If you do the pre-order, after the pre-order, it'll be about $385. Um, everything will be T8s in the end. Right now, they're T6s, but these will be all T8s at the end. The bearings in the detent are ceramic. 5.7 ounces. It does have a lot of weight relieving on the inside. This lower part right here nestles in my hand really, really nicely, nice and comfortably. Yes, I'm separated from the blade quite a bit, but I can always close that gap up a little bit. Now, I notice it has a resemblance to me to the Chavez knives. Um, that's what it kind of looked like to me. Here's another knife that just somewhat resembled it in a, in a sense. I'm not saying it's exact because obviously this doesn't have the, the dual grind and the hollow and stuff. But it kind of reminded me of it just a little tiny bit. This is more of a straight back. This is more of a drop point. But anyways. Oh, by the way, this was the AM8. Um, oh, man. Madan? Something like that. Anyways, I just did a first impressions on this. But this knife, though, pre-order, like I said, it should be available uh, early October. And I think it's a good one. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, it's, just, it's a good, it's a sexy knife for sure. It's something that uh, not only looks good, but should fit most people's hands. And it's straightforward. And that's what's kind of cool about it. It's not something that is specific and i mean obviously it has the choke up spot right there and you have this finger placement but for the most part you know it is a neutral style knife uh, the jimping on the spine is effective now when you choke up you are going to be past that but then you got this beautiful swedge so when you are pushing through materials it will help bring materials around the blade having this little space right there will prevent friction when pushing it through stuff and then the hollow grind man this is super thin let's measure this really quick let's see what this thing is behind the edge it is ten thousandths behind the edge on the hollow and in the 23 thousands right in the middle of the flat grind so about 23 thousands right here and 10 thousands in the hollow super thin that's amazing um love the sharpening tool and plunge grind you can see the plunge grind is very easy to see where it ends that's a great thing i i hate it when you can't tell right where it's at in this case it's a very easy thing to see and the way the handle goes you know how it is kind of straight you got these chamfers around the edges which do make it feel contoured in the hand but because of it sitting kind of straight you kind of have the effect where you kind of go like this with your fingers and that kind of kicks that blade out. It's not, um, it, it, you feel like you have a lot of control in your hand when you're gripping it, even though you don't have like a huge clip to grip onto. 
Um, the cutout for the lock bars on the inside, I just realized that. That's very cool. Um, I wish I should have seen that from the start. Um, would love to see that. Let's try it left-handed. So left-handed, the thumb stud is a little bit closer to the scales, but it still, still works just fine. And the reverse flick is relatively easy left-handed. You can see how the blade fits right inside the handle, which also makes it look very straightforward. Seems like it's going to be something that will work great in and out of the pocket. Can't get over how that thing hammers out. And then the three versions, the one's going to be standard, the blackout, and then the stone milled i'm guessing stone washed version so i'm guessing this is the standard which is kind of a blasted with the satin and then the blackout um i'm not sure what type of coating either dlc or pvd and then you're gonna have stone washing i'm not positive but the blade might also be stone washed that i i, I can't be i'm not 100 percent on I tried to save this thing because I did want an honest first impression so that, uh, you know, I could, I could just give it to it genuinely as genuinely as it's coming to mind. So if I'm missing anything, uh, my apologies. I, I recently started doing um, my first impressions like this again. Um, but yeah, man, this is very, very cool. Um, Steel lock bar insert, and this thing is rock solid, man. I love that lock up. Best Tech did a good job on this. Very, very good job. Um, great for knife standards. <laughs> so the RR by knife standards. There you guys go. Quick look at it. I will link everything down in the description for you guys so you guys can find the pre-order. It will be available very soon, so it's not something you're going to have to wait for a long time for or anything like that. So it's very awesome. And if you want to secure a spot, you can get it for, what was it, two, 365 Yeah, 365 So there you guys go. I love you guys. Peace.